There's a lot happening with Neuralink lately, from just one person in the early stages to now seven real human users with brain implants. It's not science fiction anymore. This tech is real, and it's growing fast. So what exactly is Neuralink doing now, and why is everyone talking about it? Let's break it down in simple terms. Nothing complicated, just real updates that matter. Neuralink has now implanted its brain chip into seven people. That's up from just one person last year. And guess what? These aren't just any people. They include those with spinal cord injuries and ALS, which is a disease that affects movement and speech. The craziest and cool part is they're now able to control computers, phones, and even game consoles just by thinking. Yes, seriously. No hands, no voice, just thought. One man who couldn't speak before now communicates using AI-generated speech. Another person, Alex, even broke a world record for moving a computer cursor using only his brain. He's back to work designing machine parts, all through his thoughts. And these implants, they're invisible from the outside and charge wirelessly. Most of these people use the chip 100 hours or more every week. That's basically all day, every day. This is no longer just testing. It's working in real life. Neuralink isn't doing this alone. In June 2025, they raised $650 million in funding. Big names like ARK Invest, Sequoia Capital, and Founders Fund are backing them. What does that mean? It means serious support. More funding equals more progress, more testing, and more people who might be able to get help from this tech. On top of that, Neuralink got special approvals from the US FDA. These are called breakthrough device designations, and they help speed things up. The government basically said, yes, this tech is important, and we want to help get it out faster. One of the approvals is for a device to help restore vision, even for people who were born blind. Another is for helping people who can't talk to speak again. Neuralink isn't just stopping with the seven people who have the implant now. The company has laid out a big roadmap that stretches all the way to 2028. If things stay on track, the tech could go from helping a few individuals to changing lives on a much larger scale. By late 2025, the goal is to place implants in the speech areas of the brain, helping people who can't talk communicate again using brain signals and a voice synthesizer. Then in 2026, they plan to roll out a major chip upgrade that triples the number of sensors. They'll also begin testing their new device designed to restore vision. In 2027, the tech takes another big leap. Each chip will be able to hold 10,000 sensors and people may be able to have more than one chip. That means more areas of the brain, like movement, speech, and vision, can be supported all at once. And in 2028, things get even more advanced, with over 25,000 sensors, deeper access into the brain, and new efforts to help with mental health conditions and chronic pain. So here's a question. How different would life be if thoughts could directly control the world around us? Would it feel freeing or maybe a little too much? The first major product is called telepathy. It's already helping people who are paralyzed control things like a computer mouse, type messages, or even interact with a robot. In the future, Neuralink wants to connect it with Tesla's humanoid robot, Optimus, which would let someone control an entire robot body using only their brain. The second product is called Blindsight, and it's all about restoring vision. It's designed for people who are completely blind, even those who don't have eyes anymore. At first, the visuals might look basic, sort of like old school video games, but over time, future versions could allow users to see in low light, heat vision, or even through fog possibly offering more than normal human sight. The third product in the works is called Deep Brain Access. 
This one focuses on mental health and pain relief. By reaching deeper into parts of the brain that handle mood and emotion, the idea is to help treat things like depression, anxiety, or chronic pain that doesn't go away with normal treatment. Which one of these do you think will change the world the most? Neuralink might be the most well-known, but it's not the only company working on brain tech. There's strong competition in this space, and a few names are already making big moves. Neuralink faces tough competition from companies like Synchron, Paradromics, BlackRock Neurotech, and Precision Neuroscience, all pushing brain tech forward in different ways. While the progress is exciting, serious concerns remain about long-term safety, privacy, and data security. Critics have also questioned Neuralink's transparency and handling of animal testing. Some FDA inspections have raised red flags about their lab practices. As the tech advances, many are asking, can we truly trust a chip in the brain? What could this mean for the future? If Neuralink continues on this path, we could be looking at a whole new kind of human-computer connection. Think about this. People could communicate just by thinking. No typing, no talking. Some say this could be millions of times faster than how we talk or type now. That could change how we work, how we learn, and how we connect with others. But there's also a deeper goal here. Elon Musk has said the real reason for Neuralink is to help humans keep up with artificial intelligence. He's worried that AI could outpace us. Neuralink could be a way to merge with AI so that people don't get left behind. Of course, not everyone will agree with that. Some people are worried this could lead to more inequality, where only rich people can afford the upgrades. Others wonder if it's even ethical to change the brain this way. So, it's not just a tech question, it's a human one too. There's no doubt, Neuralink has made huge progress. From just one person last year to seven now, the brain chip is going from experiment to something people actually use every day. The fact that people are communicating, working, and even breaking world records with their minds is no small thing. And with all the funding, approvals, and plans for the next few years, this is just the beginning. Still, big questions remain about safety, about who gets access, about where it all leads. But one thing is clear, the future of brain tech is not some far off dream. It's happening now. So, what would you do if you could control a computer with just your thoughts? Let us know what you think. This is just the start of a big conversation. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.